So you could see Trushnikova there on the outside, feeling a little bit unsettled. This is an event for athletes with cerebral palsy. They are towards the more able-bodied end of the cerebral palsy spectrum. And I was going to say, perhaps they'll give that as a faulty start, but I just saw a glimpse of the red flag, and that means that the gold medalist from 2004 has been disqualified, and that is a real shame. So, once again, they settle for the start. The Matildur. Chunyak, Sifer, Kravchenko, Osyanikova, Clark, Thorsten Dottir, and Jameson. First of two heats in the women's 200 meters T37. Katrina Hart of Great Britain, the reigning world champion, goes in six. First three to go through to the final as of right. <coughs> this time they're safely away. Katrina Hart should start to make some impact into Thorsten Dottier and Jameson, the two 15 year olds, but she's got some work to do. Coming through on the inside, Krachunyak's going well. On the inside, the Ukrainian leads at the moment, Katrina Hart with an awful lot to do. Maria Seifert, who fell in the 200 meter final last year at the World Championship, is in second place. So Krachunyak tying up a little bit towards the line. Seifert takes it, Krachunyak is in second place. And disappointment for Katrina Hart, she finished in fifth place. Good run by Seifert, she came through as the Ukrainian inside her was tying up, so she is safely through to the 200 meter final. However, there will be no place in the final for the world champion, Katrina Hart. 200 meters is of course so, sorry about, the start of the race, the start of the 200 meters is so important, uh, but the nature of these athletes' disability makes it even more difficult. We saw that when we saw that uh, Trish Nikova did not make the finals, and also with these athletes, we see the tells when they're starting to tie up because of their impairments. We see that the tying up becomes all the more evident. But a good finish here, crossing the finish line, both these athletes going through to the final. And we see this, this is what I was talking about. We can see Katrina tying up here, her left arm really, really showing how much she's fighting through this finish. Well, she ran a brilliant leg in the relay last night and already has a bronze medal, but her chances of making the final are now very, very slim indeed. Well, the second heat to come, and we have British interest in that one in the form of Bethany Woodward and Jenny McLaughlin, who also went in that dramatic relay quartet last night.